All right, when you are on your iPad, there's a couple of different ways that you can work with images. Um, to get images onto the iPad itself, you have a few options. One of them is to tap the camera icon and that will allow you to take a picture and that will store it into your photos area. Another option is if you are browsing the web, and here I'm just gonna go to our district's website, if there's an image that you would like to save from the web, you can just tap and hold on the image and then select save image. That will save a copy into your photo area. Now another option is if you want to take an entire screenshot, that's where you're going to push the home button, which is that um, the button on the face of your iPad, and the wake sleep button at the that's the top corner of your iPad. You're going to push those two buttons in together and it'll take a picture. It'll make a sound if you have the audio on, but it'll take an entire screenshot. Now to access these photos, all you have to do is tap on the photo icon and you'll notice that your photos are going to be organized into collections. They can be organized into years. You just tap to navigate in and out. Um, I'm going to go to today. So here's the images that I just put on here. So here's the MASD news. Here's one of the pictures I just saved. And then here is that screenshot. Now at any point when you're working with your images, you could tap in the top right hand corner where it says edit. And this will give you a list of tools over here on the side that you can do to enhance, you can crop, you can add some shading, you can get rid of red eye reduction if you need to. I'm just going to tap cancel. And I also have the option in the bottom right hand corner to hit delete or in the bottom left hand corner there's the little paper with the arrow coming out of it which is your share button. So from here I have a whole lot of other options available for what I can do. So I can actually send this into another app that I have on my device, such as Google Drive. That's a great place to put things, especially if you get a notice that you're running out of space. Chances are it's because of your images. So all you have to do is select your images and then send them over to Google Drive. They'll be stored on Google Drive and you could go back and delete them here. Um, if you ever need to email the picture or you need to send it to Canvas, you will see those apps once you have them installed on your device will be listed across here and you could just tap on those to select them.